in a world that's marked by ever-increasing stresses and challenges. The importance of mental health has come into sharp focus. Mental health issues, once relegated, perhaps to the shadows, have now emerged as a global concern that demands our immediate attention. It's projected that over half of the world's population will experience some form of mental health issue by the age of 75, underscoring the urgency of addressing these challenges in the here and now. Fortunately, a holistic approach offers a promising path forward, one that encompasses the mind, body and spirit in the quest for lasting well-being. Holistic well-being recognises that human health isn't a single dimensional entity, but an intricate tapestry woven from various threads. It acknowledges the undeniable connection between the mind, the body and the spirit, or energy, that advocates for a comprehensive approach to encompass all aspects of our being. This approach is particularly relevant in the realm of mental health, where an imbalance in one area can reverberate throughout the entirety of our lives. The prediction that more than a half of the global population will encounter mental health issues by the age of 75 serves as a stark reminder of the pressing need for action. Factors such as fast-paced lifestyles, digital overload, societal pressures, and environmental changes contribute to the surge in these mental health issues. To combat this alarming trajectory, we must embrace a holistic strategy that empowers individuals to fortify their mental well-being. But what holistic strategies can we use for the prevention of mental health issues or for even overcoming them? Well, first and foremost, we need to practice mindful awareness. This involves tuning into our thoughts, our emotions and sensations without judgment. Mindfulness practices such as meditation and deep breathing can help us to become attuned to our mental landscape and provide powerful insights into potential triggers. Second, we need to nourish ourselves properly. We may not be aware of it, but there is a very profound connection between diet and mental health. A well-balanced diet, rich in nutrients, supports the brain, brain functions, creates emotional stability. More whole foods, omega-3 fatty acids, gut-friendly probiotics, all of these can positively influence our mood and cognition. Three, we need to get moving. It sounds like a cliche, but exercise isn't solely about sculpting our body. It also nurtures the mind. Engaging in regular physical activity can boost the production of neurotransmitters like serotonin and endorphins. These are essential for maintaining positive mood. By this I don't mean you have to go to the gym necessarily. Even a walk in nature is good. Four, we can adopt holistic therapies. We can turn to things like acupuncture, aromatherapy, sound therapy. All of these traditional treatments can promote relaxation, stress reduction. They can restore energetic balance and enhance our general well-being. Five, we need to develop emotional intelligence, which equips us with the tools we need to navigate complex landscapes of feelings. Practicing self-awareness, empathy, and effective communication fosters healthier relationships and emotional resilience with others just as much as ourselves. Six, we need to cultivate resilience. We are always going to have highs and lows in life. We're going to have our triumphs and we're going to have our challenges. But resilience is what allows us to bounce back from our setbacks. It's what allows us to view adversity as an opportunity for growth and embrace change with an open heart. Nobody likes change, but aside from death, it's the one other guarantee in life.
that things will always change. It's how we react to them that is the most important. Seven, using mind-body practices can help us. Movement with breath and mindfulness. These can free the energy flow within us. This promotes relaxation and harmony. And while we're relaxed and in a, harm and in a harmonious state, we project that out into the world, which then improves our relationships with others, colleagues, friends, family. In achieving this, we can create a ripple effect of well-being that will then reverberate through society, directly or indirectly helping others. Just because somebody predicted that half of the world's population will have mental health issues by the age of 75, does not make it destiny. We all have the power to change our destiny every morning when we wake up. It's all a matter of choice. Thank you very much for being here today and I hope to see you again. Until then, take care of you. And please don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you find anything within this content that can help you or somebody else.